our NFL Find Five Ugly Five. Let's crank them up and get them going as we are down the stretch. After week 13, so these teams all have 13 weeks of sample size to get us uh, kind of observing them week to week here. So, guys, let's start with the Ugly Five, five worst teams in the league, starting from five up to one. Ready? Yeah, mate. Got Denver number five, five worst. Uh, Denver's quarterback situation is awful. Giants number four. Defensively, they're terrible. And can I jump in on the Denver conversation? Real sure. Quick? Denver lost four games by four. Or less. Their defense is good. Like they, they are yeah. in it. it. Just maybe they're a team that flips like it over said, next they're year. All, their quarterback's terrible. Yeah, they I mean, got a horrible quarterback situation. They're a team to watch next they year. They drafted a quarterback high. Yeah. Uh, what's uh, his name? Lock, uh, Lock. Yeah, Lock. They won't play him. They'll be a team to watch next year for sure. I like Fangio. I he was my coach in Chicago. The guy's brilliant. I think you got to give him a couple of years there. And Elway's got to bring in some. There's talent. a lot of mixed reviews about him. I think that they might be gone. Yeah, maybe. He's not a huge personality guy. Like he's not. Yeah, he a, seems like, like now a guys stiff. are like mayors, <laughs> and you know they have that personality. He's kind of just like pure football. Okay. Uh, Giants four, Miami three. They got all Miami is really falling out. I mean, they're they're down to like their fourth and fifth safeties this week. Their They're secondary is a mess. Uh, I got Washington too. I know they won last week, but I mean that organization from top to bottom. Is, and they beat Miami, but I still would say I'd rather watch Miami than the, than the Redskins. Oh, absolutely. At least they have some uh, Fitz magic back there yeah. right now. <laughs> and and you know they're trying to tank. Cincinnati's right. the worst team in the league. Yeah, that's why I keep putting Miami down the list because they actually are trying to lose. And they These won. other teams didn't, and Miami's won twice, so I give them credit for that each week. Miami yeah, but you won. almost can, like, dock them points because they're trying to lose, and they're not that bad. I mean, they're horrible, but they're not as bad as they it's, appear to be from a distance. It's not, you know what I it's mean? It's not the players and coaches' fault. But it's not their fault that they're... They're, they're not that bad. They're just effing bad. They, yeah, they're, they're, just, <laughs> they're just a complete joke. No, but for a team that's tanking and for all of the, you know talk that they got early on in the year they have Fitzpatrick they've won a couple games it's like it's impressive as they, crazy as it is they beat a Jets team and that Jets team ran Oakland out of the building Jets have won three in a row they beat they beat the Jets and they beat the Colts on the road Indeed. yeah but they played the Jets when the Jets were really like the Eagles played the Jets with full oh, fair no question yeah. you know that's a different I, game I'm just saying like Miami like they're I'd rather watch them than some of the other bad teams in the league because you know it's almost like you feel bad for them like let's see what they can do that coach wants to win so bad I he won't get fired, but no, no, no. He's the ashamed. right coach for that group. Yeah, All right, that's my five words. Who do you got? All right, so I got the Detroit Lions coming in at number five. Wow, you went Lions. I did go Lions. Lions. Uh, I went Redskins number four. Then I went Miami Dolphins, same as UMG, number three, right in the middle of the ugly pack there. And then to round off the top two, I went Giants number two. And, of course, the Cincinnati Bengals at number one for the ugly five. All right, so we go with my ugly five. It's... Giants at two and nine. Denver, who I like, but not so much. I like how you put Denver at number four, and then when I said Denver, you almost gave me crap yeah, you almost about had it. a heart attack. No, like, no, 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 really? No. They I put just, Denver at number four. They played four close games. No, I don't mean it like that. I meant it more of I didn't really know that I was given my five. I'm not a I'm not a you know a consistent on the show, so I didn't know I was given my five. I just had I prepared to get my five. Yeah. So I'll go Giants, Denver, Dolphins, Redskins, Bengals. Yeah, Bengals are so bad, and they're going back to Dalton. That's another bad move. That's a, like at this point, don't try to win a game; just go out with a bang. Why wouldn't yeah. they trade him or or move him or AJ Green at the deadline? Like well, you know, they're all they're both free agents. You're going to lose nothing for them, right? So just move them. Yeah, they, that team needed to rip the bandaid off and start over. Why not? I mean, to admit that, but they're historically have just they've struggled in the NFL with off the field moving yeah. pieces. Get, and they and it's Cincinnati. How many free agents are like, I want to go to that city? And I love Nobody. the city. No one. I, I like the city. We're just there for Temple Cincinnati. It was awesome. But, like, it's like that or Miami. Like, which rebuild do I want to be a part of? I'll yeah, and, 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 and Miami is so ahead of the game with all the draft choices. Yeah. yeah. All right, five. Uh, that's the ugly five. Fine five. Who are the five best teams in the league right now? I'll let you go first, Colin Thompson. I'll go Seattle at 9-2, and two, even though I don't think they... Number five? Uh, yeah, I don't think they played great last week against Philly, and they're vulnerable for sure. They've won more games. They, they're a good road, road team, believe it or not. Not as good at home. I go New England at 10-1. and one. I don't like the way they looked against Philly either, but hey, it's New England. They're trending in the right direction. They will get better offensively with Harry coming back healthy. I just like what they do, obviously, in the latter half of the season, and they have a very easy schedule playing in that division. 
Uh, I'll go to New Orleans. Home field advantage for them is going to be huge. They ran away with their division. They ran through the division, and they just played fantastic. Uh, I like San Fran at the second spot at 10 and 1 there. I love how the team's built. I said it yesterday. Great O line, great D line. I like their tight end, Kittle. He's the best in football. Uh, I love uh, what they do with their coach. I played in the offense in college. I love the outside zone scheme to play action off it. It helps them out. It's great. And it probably covers up a little more of what Jimmy G can't do and it's rather than what he can do. And then Baltimore, 9 and 2. Smoke the Patriots, smoke the Rams. I mean, they're just unbelievable right now. They lost to a really healthy KC team in Kansas City, uh, but they lost at home to ball to, get to Cleveland, which is a shocker. South Powell seemed to echo, though, about how good their offense is and that they've really, like... The Ravens are unbelievable. Yeah. They're unstoppable at this unstoppable. point in time. Yeah. Because I just... They do, they're do. they doing something so so different. They lost to the Browns and who else? And Kansas City, in Kansas City, on a healthy That's right, Kansas yeah. City. Okay. That's right. uh, Ryan Rothstein, you're five. All right, number five, I have New Orleans, the Saints. Great Nine city. and two. Great city. I still have never been. i got to get down there. It's a great weekend city and get out. Yeah, got to get in and get right. out. It's like Vegas. Two days in, two days, and then get, get the heck out. Number four, Seattle Seahawks, the team that Philly just saw at the link. Nine and two. They have an MVP candidate. If it wasn't for Lamar Jackson, I think he would win it. But Lamar is obviously on another level. I'll get to him in a second. Number three. At the San Francisco 49ers. This is like a college football ranking for me. I'm, I'm basing them off of their name and what they've done in the past. They're a great team. I just think they're going to falter a little bit at the end. And there's a couple teams that I just think a little bit more highly of. The Patriots <clears throat> at number two at 10-1. and one. Tom Brady and Belichick. I'll bet on them every week. Uh, and number one, the Baltimore Ravens. All right. Ryan's fine five. These are mine. Number five, Seattle. And I'm not really – Seattle, Green Bay, Minnesota, Kansas City, Houston. They're all kind of there. I like Seattle just because of the way Wilson's playing right now out of that group. You know, there's a lot of good quarterbacks in that group. They're Rodgers, Watson. But I think Wilson's playing the best out of that group, so I'm going to give him the nod at number five. New Orleans, number four. The one thing I like about New Orleans is they play good defense. Michael Thomas, they got a good running uh, – uh, two weapon. good backs. Two good backs. Murray and uh, yep. Kamara. 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 Um, Not Tamara. New Orleans. Uh, New England, number three. I just don't know if push comes to shove in a battle against some of these teams if they have enough offense. Would you take them? Would you take if New Orleans at home? Would you take them over New England? New England at New Orleans? I'd probably take New Orleans. Well, it's a Super Bowl, so it wouldn't matter. I'm right. just saying that would be a site. No, I know, but that's a fair question. I know me putting New England ahead of New Orleans, and my reasoning for that is That's why I, have I like their defense better, but I'm not sure against these other two teams that they would be able to score enough against these two teams. Yeah, that's a great point. They keep up. We are, well, San Francisco, I like number two. I think San Francisco's defense is probably, on the best day, the best in the league. At their best their day. Their front four yeah. is just, just ridiculous. Yeah. Four for and I think picks. their offense is, is overlooked. Dangerous. Garoppolo they got a lot of speed. Not, yeah, they got so insane. much speed. And getting Kittle back, I think, is a huge help for Garoppolo. He's a ridiculous. Stud. Yeah. He's a stud. And then Baltimore. I, I've had Baltimore. I had Baltimore in the fine five a couple weeks ago. That's because you like going down there. You don't want to be. I love the great city be, of Baltimore. You don't want to be ridiculed. <laughs> yeah, when I walked around Baltimore, they were like, you didn't put us in your fine five. They give them a slow clap. <laughs> <laughs> great Mike Gill. Uh, all right, that's our fine five, ugly five. After 13 weeks, 